If you want to control weeds in the vegetable garden, consider sheet mulching as a way to naturally reduce unwanted weeds. This method works best for garden pathways and borders by providing a weed-free buffer zone around planting beds. It could also be employed during an initial raised garden setup as a biodegradable alternative to landscaping fabric, and it will prevent grass runners and other weeds from taking hold. What's up everyone? It's Scott from New Garden Road. You know I'm here to inform, inspire, and elevate you. Encouraging biodiversity and restoring habitat is my mission, one garden at a time. In my garden pathways, I'm employing an abbreviated form of sheet mulching, only utilizing cardboard and mulch. To go all out in sheet mulching, you'll need a few more materials, such as compost and newspaper. Those materials are more necessary when you're covering areas of established turf grass or heavy weeds. These layers of organic material act to block sunlight, suffocate, and break down plant matter. I like to use an all-natural shredded cedar mulch, but other hardwood mulches would be good too. I like those because they have the capacity to bind together and form a dense mat. Other loose mulches such as pine straw or pine bark may allow emerging weeds to receive some sunlight through those gaps. Prepare your materials in advance and if you've got some cardboard with some tape or staples make sure you remove those before you set it down. I also like to spend some time cutting my cardboard into pieces so that it will more easily overlap preventing any gaps for light. I recommend that you work in sections and start off by removing the bulk of any weeds or grass. You can use a trimmer or a lawnmower with a bagger attachment and that will more closely control the dispersal of any flowering weeds or seeds. Next, you wanna water that soil evenly. This is gonna be helpful as you layer on these organic materials and start the process of decomposition. If you're using compost, now would be the time to lay it down. And I recommend a depth of about a half an inch. And again, water it in. And if you're using newspaper, put that on top of the compost next. And you guessed it, water it in. Now you want to begin layering in your cardboard, overlapping it by a couple inches, leaving no gaps. Make sure you water that cardboard until it's saturated. This can take several passes. Now start adding mulch at a depth of about three inches. You can use a sturdy garden rake at this point to even out the mulch as you've laid it down. It can also be useful in tamping down that mulch next to any bed frames. Now you wanna water it in again. That's gonna to help to settle things in place and all that moisture and all those layers is gonna slowly start breaking down any organic matter, including the weeds that might still be alive underneath all the cardboard and the compost and the newspaper. Continued maintenance of these spaces is gonna be essential in maintaining them at a weed-free level. You wanna be observant and spot treat or pull any emergency weeds. If you're looking for a natural herbicide, consider using 20% vinegar in combination with orange oil. You want to combine that at a ratio of one gallon of vinegar to one cup of orange oil. Add more mulch in subsequent seasons. This can help to bolster all that organic matter that you put down and keep those weeds from popping up and any seeds that may get a chance to germinate as things start to thin out. Prevent weeds in nearby landscaping from flowering and setting their seeds. That's how they're gonna get in the garden in the first place. If you've got some lawn space nearby the garden like I do, consider using a bagger attachment to collect all those trimmings. If you've got a really active composting system, you can go ahead and add those trimmings to it. Otherwise, you can curbside them. I wanna show you a little bit of a section that I sheet mulched about two years ago. You can see that it is still in really good shape. With a little periodic maintenance, I've been able to keep things from setting up and flourishing. But you'll notice on the side closest to the lawn space, there's a little bit more migration of weeds, a little bit more re-establishment. That really points to the importance of seasonal maintenance and adding additional mulch. There are a lot of great benefits to sheet mulching. It's a natural alternative. You're creating a buffer zone to your garden. I really like not having to deal with landscape fabric. It's just a pain in my opinion. If it tears or if any weeds come up, it can be really difficult to remedy. When you're using cardboard, you can easily patch that and you know it's going to biodegrade over time. This also eliminates the need to use any type toxic chemicals. Knowing how to naturally control weeds in the vegetable garden will save you time and energy while enhancing the aesthetics of your landscape. In my garden, there's no need for toxic chemicals or synthetic fabrics that simply don't work. Now check out more awesome gardening videos on my channel. Like this one and subscribe for weekly content. You can grow your own food. Keep it organic.